Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, a massive welcome to you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Claire Carmichael and I'm a third and final year adult student nurse. So I wanted to do this vlog mainly because I know a lot of students struggle with database searching. I know I struggled, I struggled first year. I actually didn't know I was searching wrong until I actually went to my university library and said to the librarian, do you know what, I'm searching these articles but I've not come up with anything and I can't find anything, I can't find what I'm looking for, what am I doing wrong? And she literally showed me these couple of simple things and it just completely changed the way I searched forever. And I was just like, what? I've been doing it wrong all this time. So I'm doing this video to help other people out because I'm sure everybody is probably doing what I was doing and hopefully it's going to help you and you, this is going to make your assignment writing so much easier in the future. Fingers crossed. So following on from that, I'm going to do a screen record on my laptop and talk you through it bit by bit on what to do using the CINAHL search. So first thing I just wanted to mention about database searching is use a wide variety of different databases. So go on to CINAHL, Cochrane, Medline, even Google Scholar, all these different places to search for different journal articles or research papers, anything you wanna find. I'll put the links to a few databases below so you can have a look at those and start searching. First things first, you want to open your CINAHL complete and I'm just firstly going to show what I was doing wrong because I'm guaranteed someone out there is doing the exact same thing I was doing. So what I was doing in my previous assignment in first year, I did chlamydia and I wanted to do chlamydia on young people. So I was searching chlamydia in the top bar and then underneath it says and. So you want to search with young people. Yeah, and then press search. And then I was going down to the bottom and just searching all chlamydia and young people in any keyword, search databases. And it only comes up with three. And this is why I was tearing my hair out because I kept doing this and I kept doing this. I was like, chlamydia and sexual health in young people is massive. There's hundreds of research out there. It's crazy that there's nothing. And I just, I couldn't believe that there was no research. So I was getting these results. I was getting really frustrated about it. And that's when I decided to go into the library. This is how she told me to search. So let's delete searches. Let's start again. I've deleted my search. I'm going to start over and show you exactly what the librarian taught me. So you want to put your search main search topic at the top and press search. Don't put anything else in the other search boxes. Tick Chlamydia search database. So as you can see, I've now got 300 here, 351 results. So now I'm going to do a completely separate search. I'm going to search for young, yeah, let's have young adults, search that. And then your young adult is at the top. Also, there's a little box here. If you click on that, it actually gives you the sort of definition of what that subject is that's really good to look at so you can have a look and see if that's actually what you want to search so press young adult search database and as you can see that's 200,000 um, results for that so we want to combine these two now we want to combine young adult with chlamydia so select all and then you're going to press search with and because that's going to combine them and do a wide search with both those keywords in there. So now I get 47. So that's a bit better than three than what I was searching. Um, and then you just go through all of your list and see if there's any articles there that you can find. Also, you can add on searches. So instead of young adult, you might try here you go, young adults or adolescents, teenagers. So it'll do a wider search with those. Let's just see what that brings up. No results were found. Um, let's try youth. Let's just add youth. Let's try adolescents. So actually, adolescents might be a better one. Let's try adolescents. So I'm going to just 
narrow it down again, tick that, adolescence and chlamydia, search with and. And now I've got 106, so that's a little bit more than I did, that I did get, and it looks like I'm starting to find what I actually want. So it's all about finding keywords. So just use short, brief keywords, narrow it down, use alternate keywords. So if you're looking for young people or children, you know, find different words for that, like adolescents, young adults, young people, youths, children, junior, I'm not sure, teenagers. It's about finding different keywords and just searching each one till you find your best result. That's just the one thing, the one main thing that I was going wrong with. I was literally searching completely wrong, but just that small tweak, that small change, and it brings up uh, better results, more results, narrows it down. Also on the left here, you can pick geography. So you can pick UK and narrow it down even more if you really want to. But just picking UK doesn't mean you're going to get just purely UK based research. The researchers might be UK based, but the actual research they've taken might be in a different country like USA, Japan, um, India, somewhere like that. So you just have to look into each article and just make sure it is UK based and actually researched in the UK because it is far better to have UK based research over other countries because the UK is where you're going to be studying, is where you're going to be working and it, it's just those things that will just get you better marks as well. Also another little thing with Sinal is if you go on to Sinal and it only shows you half an article that you're looking for it doesn't bring up the full article if you email it to yourself it actually emails you the full pdf file or full article i didn't know that either before so i found that out and that's really really helpful because it's really frustrating when you can only see half an article but you want to look at the whole thing so try emailing it to yourself and see if it opens up and hopefully it works for you let me know if it does that was just a little tip so my next database search advice is on Cochrane Library. Now Cochrane, to be honest, it's supposed to be one of the best places to get your research articles from. But I, to be honest, I do struggle a little bit with Cochrane and finding articles. But I'm just going to show you a, just a small tip that I've recently discovered. And it might be actually, you might already know this. I'm sorry if I'm already telling you information that you already know. Um, but this is just something I discovered personally recently and it opened a whole world of new research to me. So during my research recently, I've been looking up um, pre-exposure prophylaxis. I'm going to put in HIV as well because I want it for HIV. So I've basically been recently researching pre-exposure prophylaxis for HIV. This is for my dissertation slash not called dissertation anymore. It's called ACPI. <coughs> And I was coming up with this page. So I was coming up with one review and I was just like, what? How could... And stupidly, they're right in front of me here. Trials tab 319. But for some reason, I wasn't seeing this tab. And I was just looking at this and thinking, one, no, that can't be right. It can't be just one review on such a massive topic that I know there's research out there for. So you click on that. And it opens a whole world of research. So you just have to go through one bit by bit and just see which one is the right one for whatever you're writing about, basically. I tend to sort of click into things and read the abstract because everything here is in the abstract that I'm going to want to know. Sometimes I will check the results as well. So is, the, is what I'm looking for going to be in the results? So I will skip to just certain parts of it. I'll skim read the article rather than reading the whole article. And if I think, okay, this is kind of what I'm looking for, then I'll save the article or I'll print the article out and I'll go through it thoroughly and properly. Just to save me a lot of time reading through each article bit by bit. So that's my main piece of advice with Cochrane Library. Again, I'm not 100% psyched on Cochrane Library. I know it's supposed to be the best, but I really struggle to find what I actually want on Cochrane for some reason. I do like Sinal. I do like using our university's summon page. They're just my own preferences, but I do find some things on Cochrane. So I do try and use a variety just to help me find more research. As I said on Sunday, I found, discovered something amazing recently. And this was Google Books. 
oh, I didn't even know this existed. I don't know how, but this is just amazing. Our librarian come in and talk to us about searching, database searching and things. And she opened this whole new world of books to us. So this is the page. I've got books.google.com. Go onto that page, search the book you want to do. So let's just say, for example, you want to find more about resilience, for example. And it'll come up with a whole load of books on resilience. And not only that, if you click into these books, you can actually read a lot more of the book than normal. Like if you go onto Amazon and things, they give you little snippets of the book, maybe one page or two page, just so you can kind of take a sneak peek inside. But some of these books are giving you the whole book to read. So then you don't even really have to take a step inside a library to actually take out the book loan and read through the book. It's here in the comfort of your own home. You can sit there and you can read the book, find out any key parts that you want to take from the book and put it into your assignments. And then you can actually reference it exactly the same as you would reference a book because you've got all of the information there. It's as if you've got the book in your hands. It's just an online version. The only difference is you're just reading it online. And that was just a really, really amazing tip, I think. But I must say, in assignment writing, it is far better to look up journal articles and use a lot more evidence-based practice and journal articles over books with your referencing because they're seen as the best evidence possible. So if you want the high marks, go for more journal articles over books with your referencing and when you're including it in your main body. But that just amazed me. I just I had to share that with you because it's fantastic. And if there's a book out there that you really think, actually, I could get some really important information from this book to add to my assignment, that's a great way to do it. Another tip that we were showed by the librarian is if you're searching for something. So let's go back to the adolescence um, and chlamydia that I want to search for. So I'm still searching for this. So a top tip she said to put was if you put in the keywords into the search bar, so adole adolescence, then put an asterisk after that, and then space, then nursing, because it's to do with nursing, asterisk again, and then your topic that you want to search for. So I want to search for chlamydia, and just put that in little quote marks, so it's going to look just like that. So put in whatever field of nursing you want. So child, adult, learning difficulties, mental health. Then you want to put nursing because you want nursing related. And then your topic in the quotes, just like that. Press search and that will bring all of those together and do a complete search. And it just brings up everything relevant. So all of this should be young people, nursing related and chlamydia. And it just brings it all together. To be honest, I haven't searched outside of Birmingham City University for this. I've only just searched this now on the main university search engine. So shall we go back and let me just copy and paste this. Save me typing it in again. So act, I'm just gonna go back to Sinal and it'll be interesting to see if this works with Sinal got a feeling it's not because I know that I was searching completely wrong with Sinal um, but I just want to see what happens if I do that in Sinal now no results okay so it doesn't work for Sinal so on your main summon page at university if you've got a main summon page you can do that I'm not sure if it's a Birmingham City University thing let's try now checking um, our Google Books and see if that works with Google Books and Angels Community Based Nursing, Pediatric Sense or Pediatrics Nursing. Okay, it might work. I'm not too sure if it works actually for this. So my main thing is, if you're a Birmingham City University student, this is gonna work for you on the Birmingham City University website for searching Summon. Let me know below, comment below if you've got a main university search like summon and if this works for you because of 
got a feeling now I've just done this I'm looking silly this might just be purely for university students of Birmingham City but try this on your university if you're at a different university let me know if it works and if it's helpful if not I'm really really sorry this isn't for you guys but it helps Birmingham City University students I'm hoping it helps everybody out there I'm really sorry if it doesn't but that's just a, a tip that I learned and I thought it was a really good tip that I had to share with you. Those are my main tips. Mainly I feel like I've talked a lot about Sinal, so I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> but Sinal for me was a tricky thing to get, get my head around and get started with. So now I've learned those little tips and things. Hopefully it's gonna help you. But the main points to remember on database searching is keep your keywords narrow, specific, Try using different keywords if that keyword isn't working. Narrow it down as much as you can if you're getting a wide range, like thousands and thousands of articles and you don't wanna look through all those. So try and narrow it down as much as possible to give you better results. And also remember to, to use a wide search when databasing. When I say wide search, I mean use different types of database searches. So use different websites to go on and search for articles there because some databases bring up certain things, other databases bring up more things. Some do a wider search, other do a more narrower search. So just use as many databases as you can to find the articles that you really want. This might also give you some little points on the marking criteria because they do like to see that you're searching wide database searches and you know reading widely and around the topic that you've chosen. So you're gonna get extra marks possibly for that, hopefully. It just really helps as well to find the research or the articles or any of the topics that you want. So that's it from me. I hope this video has been useful. I hope I've given you some tips that you might not have thought about before. If there's anything else you want to know, leave me a comment, message me. My inbox is always open for everybody and hopefully I can help where I can. And that is it from me. I'm going to post the links below. Have a look at those. Have a look at the different types of research and databases you can go on. And yeah, so that's it from me. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.